Hello everybody, fantastic news. Goblins and Halflings have been revealed for Season 6. And the great news is there's going to be like a stunty cup competition. You can see their victory points and your contribution will be underneath it. And um, anybody, they don't have to own the teams, anybody can just play a game as Goblins or Halflings and further their calls for their faction. And then, as you can see, the customization will be available to the winner. So um, that's a great, great concept, I think. Both teams in one blood pass and uh, being able to try them before you buy them, you know, like it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Stunty teams, you know, they're not as competitive as the good teams. Um, so there was a lot of speculation as to what's gonna happen with the release of stunty teams, but I think this is an absolutely brilliant solution by Cyanide. So absolutely great. Uh, let's get into, let's get into what we know so far. And here we have the teams. You can see there the tree men for the halflings, two tree men they've got, the goblins get two trolls. There's some of the new models, catchers, fungus. So yeah, these are what the models look like in game. You can see a bunch of guys, you've got the pogoer, you've got the chainsaw, you've got the hooligan, you've got star players, bomber, fungus, black gobbo bunch of players there for the goblins and then the halflings obviously two trees they've got some catchers with a the mitts they've got some hefties at the back got there in the end <laughs> so yeah that's what the models look like I'll do a proper preview of course when they're out in about uh, six days time so one of the great parts of this update is that the star players have their special rules. You can see the logo there on Ripper, Bomber and Fungus. They've got that little star shape thing and that is their special ability and all of the star players abilities will be in. Bunch of new stars of course. We've got Bomber Dribble Snot for the Goblins. We've got Fungus the Loon as well. The Black Gobbo is there you can see. And we've got Creek Rust Gouger because of the new ball and chain. And Madcap Migs. Uh, this is a bizarre player. I've never seen him before from Blood Bowl 2016. But he's got a special rule as well. Don't know what it's going to be. Uh, the Halflings have a few players as well, like Cindy Pie Whistle, uh, for sure. She's going to be a terror on the pitch. So here's the Blood Pass. You can see there's the new pitch. Goblin pitch, rather grey. Halfling pitch, very green. Bunch of cosmetics. Double the cosmetics at each stage. Pretty nice. Staff zones. Food and <laughs> hot pots. <laughs> Whatever that is, brilliant. Classic, uh, you know, just just minor cosmetic things. That's what you'd expect, isn't it, from the blood pass? Plus three positions from the Goblin Lineman, so I guess you can use that on all of your fanatics and bombers and stuff. That's a pretty nice one for the human ogre. Couple of new dice. Madcap mix. That's a nice model, isn't it? Not sure how much play you'll see on the pitch, but a decent coach for sure. And one who will be a terror on the pitch is Cindy Pie Whistle. Absolute monster player. And uh, you can also troll by having her as your coach as well. 
but the highlights are absolutely the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders are incredible. You can see a bunch of things there. <laughs> this is the highlight for me. This is the absolute best. And the great thing about cheerleaders is, uh, we were told that in about from about October, there's there's going to be a patch where you can see cheerleaders even if you don't hire them, which is great because you know nobody really wants to hire cheerleaders, right? They're not competitive. Some people bought them for fun or whatever, but cheerleaders are not good in the game. But this, oh my god, you can actually see this on all of your teams. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every team I make is going to have halfling cheerleaders. <laughs> I think this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The goblin one's good as well, to be fair. But like this is... <laughs> this is the best one I've seen. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And there's the goblin cheerleader. Looks pretty great. <laughs> Bit of break dancing on a squig. Very cool cheerleader. Okay, so this is interesting. Look, there's an automatic skills thing, which I imagine <laughs> that governs the use of automatically using things, which is great, isn't it? For stuff like, you know, you can turn Fen to automatic. Obviously, you don't stand firm automatic. And you don't dodge automatic. You really. Tackle's a funny one because obviously your opponent should have dodged dot to manual, but um, yeah, so that's like that's a great, that's a great addition there. And also you can choose the display skills, so you don't you can have um, yeah your players or opponents, and you can just turn off stuff like always hungry and that that you know who they have, and that will obviously make the board look a lot less cluttered, taking off all of the skills that you already know are a bit unnecessary so that's uh that's a pretty great improvement i would say so yeah that's it it's uh, all looking pretty cool so season six is going to have an 1800 tv cap um which will be interesting it is going to have bomber bomber and cindy pie whistle which is going to be uh interesting to say the least and uh you know once the season starts i'll, I'll make a video you know like a, a goblin guide and a halfling guide and look a bit more in depth at all of the new teams but you know i just thought i'd get this news video out there for you so uh thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic